Hi, in this video I am going to show you how to solve a system of linear equations by using the elimination method. So first, let's take a look at this graph here. We have two lines intersecting each other and the lines intersect at this point right here, that point is 1, 2. So the equation of this line right here is y is equal to x plus 1 and the equation of this line right here is y is equal to negative 2x plus 4. Now these equations are in the form of slope intercept and the slope intercept form is written as y is equal to mx plus b. However, when you're using the elimination uh, method you want to change this into this form which is called the standard form of a line and the standard form of a line is written in the form of ax plus by is equal to c where a, b, and c are rational numbers. So for instance here's what we're gonna do. We want to get these two equations which are written in the slope intercept form and we want to change them to standard form. So I'm gonna write them here y is equal to x plus 1 and y is equal to negative 2x plus 4. We want to change it to ax plus by is equal to c. So in order to do that I, I'm going to move the x over to the other side. It's going to be negative x plus y is equal to 1. This is our first equation and this is in standard form. The second equation I'm going to move the negative 2x to the other side by making it positive. So it's going to be 2x plus y is equal to 4. So now that we have both equations in standard form, what you want to do is put one equation on top of the other. And it should look like this. Negative x plus y is equal to 1. And then on the bottom you're going to write 2x plus y is equal to 4. Notice that both equations are on top of each other. Now, this is called the elimination method because you're trying to eliminate one of the variables, whether it's the x variable or the y variable. In this case, the x variable looks pretty difficult to eliminate because you have a negative 1 plus 2, and that's not 0. So then we take a look at the y variable, and it would be very easy to eliminate it if one of the y's was negative because if it was, then it would be 1 minus 1 is 0. You could cross them out. Now, in order to do this, what you want to do is get one of the equations. It could be whichever one. It could be the top or the bottom. And you want to switch all of the signs. Okay, you do this by multiplying by a negative 1. And I'm going to do this to the top equation. I'm going to get the top equation, multiply it by a negative 1 what happens is that all of the signs are going to change because this negative one will be distributed throughout the equation so instead of it being negative x we're gonna have a positive x instead of it being a positive y we're gonna have a negative y and instead of being a one we're gonna have a negative one so that's your new equation the bottom one stays the same 2x plus y is equal to 4 and now it looks very simple to eliminate the y variable negative 1 plus 1 that cancels out so the only variable left in this equation is the x so we add 2x plus 1x is 3x and then negative 1 plus 4 is 3 you solve uh, the x by dividing by 3 x is equal to 1 so that's the first answer x is equal to 1 and if you look at the graph you notice that this point right there is that x is equal to 1 so now how do you solve for y to solve for y what you want to do is you want to get this point x is equal to 1 and you want to plug it in to one of the two original equations so you can plug it in this equation up here you can plug it in negative x plus y is equal to 1 or you can plug it in to this equation 2x plus y is equal to 4. It doesn't matter which one. I'm going to pick 2x plus y is equal to 4. That's the one I want to do. So wherever I see an x, I'm going to put 1. 
then you say 2 times 1 is 2 plus y is equal to 4 and to solve for y simply move the 2 over to the other side of the equation y is equal to 2 so there we solve the first problem so x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 2 and if you come take a look at the graph that's exactly the answer 1 comma 2 and this is how you solve a system of linear equations by using the elimination method